Well, September is the official month for ovarian cancer awareness. And Teal City Pittsburgh is an annual fundraiser event benefiting and raising support for ovarian cancer research. Joining us today, Margarita Hornung and the director of the Ovarian Cancer Center of Excellence, Dr. Thomas Krivak. Thank you for coming here today. Margarita, we really want to start with you because your story connects the two of you. You called Dr. Krivak your hero. Yes. Tell us what happened with you. Five years ago, I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer and it happened because I had a ruptured uh, cyst, the tumor, and immediately Allegheny Health came. Uh, Dr. Trevac's team took care of me, provided excellent care, and because of that, we are eternally grateful for all that he's given us, but more importantly, all the hope that not only does he give myself, but all his patients. Yeah, doctor, talk to us about not only the, the hope that you're able to give patients, but also there are new ways to treat this, right? Absolutely. Hope is really important, you know, mind, body, soul, and treating patients, no doubt about it. But, you know, in Margarita's case, it was surgery and chemotherapy. And definitely how we do things now versus five years ago versus 10 years ago is very, very different. And it's probably going to change in another six months. So we're trying to do, you know, efficient surgery, quick, get tumor biopsies, and then trying to tailor treatments to the individual patient versus you know 2005 2010 it was almost like one size fits all and so really when you see about individualized cancer care it, it, it really is and again we're able to give hope because there is so many more medications available to treat patients today I mean it is really amazing can you talk about this type of cancer about this type of for, for women so ovarian cancer is, is kind of a, a whispering disease. It's, it's kind of a sleeper. You know, Margarita had a ruptured ovarian cyst. She's very young, unusual to have ovarian cancer at this young age. But un unfortunately, with thinking about patients with ovarian cancer, you want to have an early diagnosis. Mm -hmm. And, and um, we did that in Margarita's case, but in times we can't. And that's just because paying attention to symptoms and things. And so, you know, with the, the treatments and trying to get an early diagnosis, that's still where the challenge is is with with us yeah margarita talk to us about why the the event why this is so personal and yet you really feel passionate about sharing your story yeah. absolutely yeah so my husband and i wanted to have a platform where we could turn pain into purpose mm -hmm. and raise awareness about ovarian cancer and also raise funds for research so this event is very dear to our hearts and so what will happen during the event? So we are very excited to host the second annual ovarian cancer event on September 30th. And this year, my two dear friends who are the co-chairs um, have actually uh, transformed this into a celebration. So Natalie Arias and Erica Laughlin have uh, provided the DJ, there's entertainment, there's gonna be uh, music and open bar. Oh, wonderful too. And not only are you raising <laughs> money, I mean, by you speaking up and telling your story, you are potentially saving lives. Like you're really making right. a difference. And, and that's such a wonderful thing to do. Yes, I, I hope so. And there are so many women that have been Im impacted by this condition. So we will also honor two dear friends of mine, um, Kathy Peoples, and we will honor also and remember uh, Beth uh, Fedson that lost her battle to ovarian cancer. And Dr. Krivak, before we go, are there any, is there any advice that you can give to women? Any symptoms? I mean, you said this is kind of like a whispering disease. Is it because some of the pain or symptoms could almost be mirrored by regular cycles? They can, they can be mirrored, but you're absolutely right. Uh, irregular bleeding, um, feeling full early on, change in diet, um, nausea, vomiting. Again, those are very vague symptoms. Again, but I would say that um, women know their bodies and, and typically following up and saying, I'm not happy with this answer, I need more. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, ultrasound, CT scans, those types of things to help get you to the, to the right clinician. Margarita came to me by Dr. Foose, but, it, but again, it, it's one of those kind of things. He was very attentive and, and, and took care of it look quickly. And so to me, I think women know their bodies, patients know their bodies. And if they're not getting an answer that they don't feel is correct, then, then seek out further additional testing because it's, it's tough. There's no doubt about it. It's okay. tough. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you both. Right. Really. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. Yeah, really good information. Well, the second annual Teal City Pittsburgh event is Saturday, September 30th in Mars. For more information, go to our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com. Up next.